Hello and welcome to this lesson today. Welcoming you is none other than Robert Motari, a teacher of English and ready to take you through articles. You've uh, heard one time of R, A, R, N, and D, or the. That is what I'm taking you through. And uh, it's Robert Motari once again welcoming you to this lesson. And uh, for sure, in case you are joining me now, I'm just informing you that uh, I'm taking you through articles as one area that uh, is always tested in examination. And for sure, I'll, I'll be uh, able to expound in every word, every meaning of a particular word and how it's used in given sentences. So for now, um, uh, let me take you through what is regular. To curb COVID pandemic, please wash your hands thoroughly and for 20 seconds with soap and running water. Apply sanitizer that is 70% alcohol on your hands. Do not shake hands with anyone. It's, it's very dangerous. Do not touch your eyes, nose and your mouth. Uh, in case you are going out, use a mask if it's uh, very necessary, but keep social distance even at home. Stay at home, stay safe. That is the best way we can curb the pandemic. I hope that is what the Ministry of Health guidelines has uh, been given. So stay at home, stay safe. So for today, let me take you through R, N, and D. You've used them many times. Possibly you never knew where these words are supposed to be used. So we call them determiners or determinatives. Determiners or determinatives. What are they? What are these determinatives and what is their work? Determiners are used to function in a noun phrase. Phrases can be very short for the purpose, the use of identifying. They find out or they distinguish giving the differences without describing or giving more information or modifying. To modify, modifying comes from the word modify, which means, which means uh, changing. So they identify or distinguish. They don't describe or modify. They don't give details or change uh, the meaning of uh, uh, any word that could be a noun. It comes before a noun. Determiners are always placed before a noun. Determiners are placed before a noun. So let's see the types of noun uh, determiners. The types of determiners there are four types of determiners articles or primary determiners demonstratives cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers briefly let me go through number two three and four but today we'll tackle mostly on articles or primary determiners number two demonstratives they show something that is near and another one that is far, or could it be in space? For example, this, T-H-I-S, this. If you are talking of very many, you just say these, because they might be near or in space. That, some distance, some space, if there are very many, just say those in plural. Those are called demonstratives. Cardinal numbers are one, two, three, like that. Ordinal numbers, you don't know exactly what they are. They can be much, many, more, most. So you cannot either say what these uh, ordinal numbers are. If somebody tells you there are very many, you cannot give the exact number. So we'll purely talk on articles or primary determiners. So we have used articles most of the time. A part of speech 
which indicates a limit can be limit is just like a boundary it limits you to a given uh, area without doing more they specify a noun or pronoun to specify means to give particular something particular and the, the particular thing you are specifying something uh, specifying a noun could it be a noun or a pronoun they combine also with nouns to show the type of reference being made by a given noun. So they include a, an, and the, a, an, and the. A and an, we are going to begin with the primary articles and an, and later we talk about the. Types of articles. A, an, and the can be grouped into two. A, an, and the are grouped into indefinite articles and definite articles. De indefinite articles are a and an, but definite article is the. Indefinite meaning one, not fixed, but definite means specific fixed and you understand what it is indefinite articles have said there are and an they indicate that their nouns are not specific they you cannot particularize uh, they are not particular they are, you can't say that this is very specific so the listener cannot identify the specific noun so the indefinite articles that indicate that their nouns are not particular and therefore cannot be identified by whoever is listening that is the listener then uh, let's see how a is used and later we check on an a is used to mean one the way i said an is also used to mean one it's used before common nouns in the singular state used before common nouns in a singular state you remember when we are talking about uh, parts of a sentence you said he is a pronoun but is a noun in past tense a uh, is an art article primary article new is an adjective and shirt is a noun so uh, before the the common noun here is a shirt so you place a before the word new shirt because this is a common noun another way you can do it is uh, to show a figure place a before word the show figure for example i gave her a hundred shillings i gave her a hundred shillings so the figure here is hundred shillings eh? then you place uh, the article uh, or the primary article before hundred and becomes hundred you can say a thousand million and so many others so all words that begin with b c d f g h j k l m n p q r s t v w x y and z or z any word that begins with these letters these letters are called consonant i have a consonant sound place the letter r before any word that begins with that those consonant sounds you can also use this one in a phrases a phrase is a very short word a call he has a call he died he had a fortune out of it a headache a mistake a noise and don't say you are making noise just say you are making a noise it's wrong to say you are making noise rather say 
you are making a noise a collection of so many sounds that are not appealing not make they making your ears not uh, to feel comfortable you are not very comfortable because they are coming from different uh, parts just call them a noise it's a collection of so many different a uh, uh, lot of noise from uh, 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 areas then you call it a noise and you can also place a after verb or helping verb if a countable noun in singular is following for example my teacher my pronoun teacher noun therefore my teacher is a subject is is a helping verb a article footballer is a noun in this case a direct object now let's see the noun my teacher is not countable is countable but remember teacher is one therefore singular is teacher plural is what teachers so i'm talking a specific person my teacher one is a footballer so i'm talking of a countable teacher and the helping verb is the word is after the word is place a to show in singular state then uh, we talk about an we have been talking of a and now is part of indefinite articles and is also used to mean one and means one but it's placed before words which begin with a vowel sounds with a vowel sound do you remember what you talked earlier in your class five and six okay write all words that begin with vowel sounds write all vowel sounds down in less than 10 seconds write down the vowel sounds i hope you are doing it quickly it does not take a lot of time yes if you have written down i'm going to show you examples of these words which begin with vowel sounds those are the vowel sounds before i give you the words the vowel sounds we read them like this a a e o and a remember the sound a not u so this is a a e o and a now another thing for you to do write examples of these words that are beginning with the, the letter the sounds a a e o and a Have you done it? Okay. Here are the examples. An axe. An egg. An ink bottle. An orange. And an umbrella. Axe begins with sound A. Egg starts, starts with sound A ink bottle begins with the sound e orange begins with the sound o and umbrella starts with sound a therefore an is used before used before words which begin with vowel sounds it's also used before words which have silent h words that have silent h now quickly write down words that begin or words which begin with sound h 
Are you doing it? Yes. Let me also write. Oh, you are through. These are the words, some of the words. I've given our, air, owner, and hotel. Just need to say an hour. Don't say how. Just say an hour, an air, an hour owner, and an hotel. All those letters H are not pronounced. They cannot be heard, so they are silent. The silent H. A and an definitely are used therefore to replace to mean used instead of the word one don't say i have one egg one orange you just say i have an orange one an orange let's look at definite articles part two because we divided articles into two indefinite articles and definite articles earlier on i had mentioned that definite articles are also called fixed articles you can call it the or the the or the depending on one if you are using a definite if you are using um consonant sounds you say the but if you are using vowel sounds you say the but remember they are very specific very particular the boy came home you are very sure of the boy you are very particular you're specific of one the boy therefore a listener can identify the noun the listener can identify the noun. let's see how it's used the or the the is used before plural nouns for example the dogs will compete in a race you know the plural noun dogs you cannot say dogs will compete in a race but because you are very specific of plural nouns just need to use the dogs will compete in a race it's also used before musical instruments the harp has eight strings for example, the harp has eight in strings. You can also use on common proper nouns, specific areas, for example, cinema, the Kenya cinema, drama, the drama festival in concert, the proposed concert in theater, just say the national theater. So you can also use, when you're talking of uh, uh, nationalities, people from different uh, countries, the French, the British, or the Britons, the Kenyan, the Sudanese, the Somali, the, the, the people of Republic of South Africa, and so many others. So we are talking of all the countries you use the when you're talking of nationalities. Now, it can also be used before superlatives. What is a superlative? Let's look at this sentence. The worst enemies are idlers. Are you an idler? No, no, no. I know students are always working hard. But those who are idlers are the worst enemies in that sentence. So the word worst is an adjective in the superlative state meaning you're comparing more than two things or more than two animals or more than two people so here idlers are the worst enemies possibly there are other enemies but it's comparing uh those enemies and the idlers the idlers with others so the word worst is an adjective in the superlative state so whatever the case you need to put the before a superlative the word worst is a superlative state adjective in the superlative state place the before the word worst 
The other one is uh, on uh, when we are talking of abstract nouns. Abstract nouns. What's that talk about a feeling? Yeah, there's something like uh, wisdom uh, is an abstract noun. Eh? So the wisdom what of Solomon was exceptional, was incomparable. That wisdom, you place article V or definite article the before an abstract noun like wisdom. So we can also talk about uh, material nouns. Material something that can be got from uh, the, the ground that has been given by nature, for example, oil. Oil is a material noun. Just say, you cannot say oil is, a, oil is scarce nowadays. Just say the oil is scarce nowadays. The oil, the, the oil. The wisdom, number six, but the oil. So with the names of languages, a language the German she learned has helped her secure more uh, secure job. You can also use with colors, names of colors, the green color in the grass is deep. And uh, then in the home stretch, we can talk of uh, V used with the names of meals referring to a particular one. If you are talking about a given a meal, that was the best supper I've ever had. We are talking about supper as the time when cooking a particular meal. You can also say when it's clear from the situation which personal thing we mean. If you are talking of something that you are you know and you mean. There is nothing you are talking about. It's only that given thing. Other than the rest, you forget about the rest. Just need to say the dinosaur was the, the dinosaur was the largest animal that ever existed. The dinosaur was the largest animal that ever existed. We are talking of the situation of this animal. It's the dinosaur only that was the largest animal. No other animal that was large, just like. Uh, the dinosaur. Lastly, on the V, we can also use the or the with geographical features. The Nile. Nile is the longest river in Africa. Here, the geographical feature is River Nile in Africa. So, therefore, the Nile is the longest river in Africa. With some countries like Netherlands, the Republic of South Africa, and for those who are talking about uh, the Ghana Empire, the Ghana Empire. Those are some of the ways you can use Article V or the. And with that, uh, we come to the end of our lesson today. But before we go away, I can give you a chance to ask a question where you did not understand or perhaps there's an area you want uh, me to explain more. And if not so, I prepared some activity for you. There's a small uh, activity for you to do. And I believe you are able to see from the other side where you are. Dash, number one. Dash crowd is making dash noise. Fill in the blank spaces that are there using the correct article or articles. For example, number four, you need one article, but the rest are one, number two, and number four, you need two, four, and five, you need one article. But number one and number three, you need two articles. So write these sentences down, down and work on them. And uh, send this work to me for marking. It has been a great encounter today. We've learned about uh, articles. And then we said articles are very specific. They talk about specific things. They're divided into two. 
definite and indefinite articles. Uh, leave alone the, the types of uh, determinants. I'm talking of articles a and an as one indefinite article and the other as uh, definite article, meaning they are fixed. We have also discussed where they are used and how they are used and sentences on how to use uh, these articles. From me, I say thank you for taking your time to listen to me. It has been uh, an honor to host you today, but do not forget, please remember to sanitize your hands, wash your hands thoroughly for more than 20 seconds with running water and soap. Do not shake anybody's hand. If you're going out, please uh, have a mask on. Uh, remember to keep a distance 1.5 meters from one another uh, stop uh, the uh, the spread of covid-19 and this is the best way to curb it stay at home stay safe i am robert motari thank you so much uh, thank you have a good day